Hello Gemini, hello beautiful souls. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and today I'm gonna to bring to you guys um, a general read for matters of the heart, AKA love for your sign and the person you're inquiring about. Okay, so Gemini, the first card I pulled was from the Lunar Nomad Oracle deck. It gives you a little bit of sense of direction, um, some intimate messages that you may need to hear at this time, okay? So um, listen up and then we will get into the regular general tarot, okay? So Gemini, matters of the heart, love, let's go. So the card I pulled for you for the month of September or the remaining of September rather is the ring. This is very, very, very interesting for you guys. Look at that imagery. What comes straight to your mind when you see that? The first thing that you think of is something um, subconsciously that is trying to speak to you, okay? So, when the ring appears for you, Gemini, this symbolizes keywords like contracts, connections, partnerships, marriage, or a commitment in your surroundings, something you're dealing with, however it regards to those keywords. Now, this can symbolize a depth and vulnerability of such a profound connection. Typically, we see the ring as an offering of a lasting commitment given as a gesture of certainty. To accept the ring is to be tied to a promise. When this appears in your reading, it indicates for you, Gemini, or, yeah, Gemini, sorry, that a deep connection is being made right now. There's a feel, or there's exchange of feeling, feelings, um, a promise of mutual respect and appreciation with someone. The circle of a ring expresses the infinity of love and devotion that happens on a spiritual level. The ring embodies a powerful exchange of your life force, such as an allegiance means that you uphold the values and ideas of the person you are committed to or going to commit to. Fidelity is the keystone of a healthy, lasting relationship. It's really asking you to go in fully present and in agreement with this union. But <clears throat> the ring also signifies more than romantic bonds. It is the sign of a deep engagement that happens on an energetic level. This means anything that you promise your full attention to falls within the realm of the ring. That could mean love, family, responsibilities, work, and creative projects. When the ring appears, you really need to ask, what does being in the right relationship mean? <clears throat> It's an act of a spiritual force. Relationships that unite out of love and support and mutual respect for each other offer space to thrive and expand, enriching your experience rather than corroding, corroding it. So ask yourself this, am I in the right relationship with the situation at hand? What commitments no longer serve me? Say no to commitments that are restricting you and only say yes to experiences that create unity and a right relationship. The choice you make should feel good when you make it and not bad. You will never be confused about the right decision. Now you see the hand is actually an x-ray. So this symbolizes x-ray vision allows you to see the core foundation. It allows you to see the truth, the bones of your relationships, to truly understand what supports them and holds them together. Because sometimes what appears on the surface may um, start in the contrast to actually what lies beneath the hidden darker parts. Heartache, but um, you could experience heartache. Uh, you could experience heartache by becoming intimate with an infrastructure of your relationship if it is not built upon a sturdy foundation. The ring really is here to remind you that every relationship shapes you in some way, including the painful ones, including those. 
when a relationship has a painful ending or impact on your life. Consider, instead of the brokenness, consider on how it has shaped you, opened your eyes, and made you aware. Awareness of your past helps you to um, avoid repeating all those painful cycles over and over and over again. So for some of you, you're choosing to say no to a commitment. But Gemini, what I feel for most of you, probably 75% of you, this ring is appearing in your reading due to a literal offering of a marriage or proposal. You're starting to come into a deep commitment, someone or you will be at the end of September. When the ring appears, you have a choice to commit yourself or go in a different direction. So I would love to hear from those Geminis out there who are um, choosing to commit to someone or you're choosing to go in a different direction of some sort. But I do some, see some either commitment issue here or someone um, getting very close with someone in your relationship really growing to a deeper level. And for some of you, um, engagement is in the works. Proposals are in the works. So let's get into the regular deck and see what is coming for you guys for the rest of September in the matters of love. I've already pre-shuffled. I will shuffle a few more times for the camera. What is going on for Gemini in the love realm? Here we go. Gemini. <clears throat> <clears throat> For some of you Gemini's out there, you you have um, experienced some loss in the past that was very difficult to over overcome. I cannot speak now. Please forgive me. You feel like someone um, has betrayed you. Someone has deceived you. Someone got one over on you. For some Geminis, there's extreme, you're experiencing disappointment, extreme disappointment. Some Geminis are abandoning previous plans. Jumping ship. You feel like there's going to be no success in this. So for some Geminis, you're walking away and you're no longer putting effort into something. For some Geminis, you know something out there is waiting for you that is better. That will have more possibilities, more room for growth. You could be meeting someone that is extremely shy and extremely modest. Extremely, extremely. Wow. <clears throat> For some Geminis, I feel like you are walking away from an idea of, of, of a picture of a family is what I'm seeing. You're walking away from your child's mother or child's father. Someone that you very much used to adore. You were good friends. This person was very devoted to you. You could have been married or planning on getting married. And now that vision is just completely wiped away. This person is no longer looking at you and they have turned their back on you. They are no longer putting effort and neither are you. For some of you Geminis, you're deciding to start on a new path. You're deciding to put your faith and your passion elsewhere. You're ready to have a more consistent relationship, a more consistent person. You're walking away from this old way of life 
and have good intentions, you know, towards the, towards the future. You're ready to start something new. You're not wanting to indulge with anyone from the past, a, a makeup of any kind. You're really um, setting out with intentions to meet someone new. This could possibly be another water sign or fire sign, what I'm getting, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you have been seeing someone on the side for a little while just to bide your time till you have this new beginning, um, but you're really turned off and I feel like this was just more of a sex thing because this person that you've been indulging with is very immature when, I mean, in your thoughts, you just feel like they're younger and, and immature. So this really was more of just a hookup thing is, is what I'm understanding. I feel like you have just recently met someone that has inspired you for change that you're actually excited about. And you're finally giving up that idea that you can make it work with your past child's parent, mother, father, whatever that is to you, baby daddy, baby mama. But I feel like you have, for some of you, um, or will be meeting someone, I feel like you've already possibly met them and just talking, sort of. Um, for some of you, this could be very good because this is someone that is very um, professional, very responsible and creative. Um, could be, uh, I do see that they're a religious person, they go to church, and that may be what you like about them. But what you also like about them is they're accomplished. Um, I either see like a lawyer, a business person, or a teacher. Um, you really like their kind of meek, innocent nature. For some of you Geminis, um, this person from the past, I see you guys got in a lot of petty arguments and really were fighting for control over um, a situation, just back and forth control issue, issues, um, which really made you break your character, break your morale. I really see that you sunk to a lower level that you're not quite proud of, but you are coming out of that and, and meeting someone brand new that quite frankly adores you. Um, this is a very warm hearted person. I see that they have kind of like fair skin. So they may like burn easily just that really fair type of skin like with freckles. Um, they may even have red hair but I feel like they're very fair skinned. Let's see what else. Let's see what else is coming for you with this person in September. So choosing to step away from thinking the past could work out with someone and choosing to make a commitment towards the future to someone new. And someone has caught your eye and Yeah, I feel like this is more of a person that is not necessarily immature, but they are very um, innocent when it comes to life. Like they can be kind of new, naive, but I think you, Jim and I, kind of like that because everything about them is more genuine than people who have lived. It's like seeing someone's expression, you know, seeing someone experience things for the first time. There's a certain... Um, safety you feel with this. There's a certain um, sheltered feeling and I feel like this person has been sheltered. Maybe they were homeschooled. Um, but this person is very independent and they have been single for a long time.
interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, for some of you Geminis, this person is living with their dad still. Like, maybe just finished college and still under their parents' authority or their parents are still paying for their, you know, apartment. Like, I just see them having to live by their rules still. They're that innocent. You know what I mean? They have some sort of authority over them. So, for some of you Geminis, you... Um, are a little offset by this or will be this is kind of making you want to take a step back that they might be a little too innocent they might be a little too um, sheltered for you so you're kind of indecisive um, at this point if, if you could really you know taper down because I feel like you're a little bit older I, I'm really seeing that you you know have affection and really intrigued and sexually aroused by this person but you're really considering could I really be um, on this level could I really have to deal with a parent every time I want to see this person or would it would it always be something that is over our shoulder do I really want to indulge with this So I feel like this indecision is bringing you to kind of an indecisive, stagnant type of energy, which kind of has you reminiscing of the past and mixing past experiences with the future. Wondering if you really want to even get in a situation again where you can be hurt again. And it's like this authoritative power that this father figure has over this person that you're interested in just for some reason has you bringing up a, a lot of old wounds that you're you're having to heal um you're, you're trying to stay optimistic you're trying to heal and i feel like in the moments where you guys are together you do you do get pleasure from it I do see you choosing not to um, really indulge with this person at this time. Um, you're just really thinking about what the limit could be for this, what, um, how you would grow with this person. And it seems like it, it's capped, a lid is put on it that it wouldn't go far because you would constantly ha be having to have an authority figure um you know answering to them and you feel like there could be something better so i do feel like you are worried about unexpected events that may occur so i don't uh, it's like you're really choosing not to start something new with this person even though you're very intrigued um you're yeah, you're coming to the conclusion at the end of September that it's just really not worth your time and effort and indulgence in because you just want. It's like, I'll, I'll address this situation. I'll address you later on when you are a little bit more independent. So I do feel like you're going to um, honestly keep talking to them to keep the door open but in a deceptive way like you're going to be still indulging with them so they don't close the door on you and this idea of you guys but you're still indulging and going out with other men or other women still sleeping with other people and i kind of see you i'm um, talking to a few honestly but I, I feel like you're really you're really good at it and you feel justified because this person isn't quite ready to have an adult relationship or the way that you would quite want it.
Yeah, you're waiting. Um, you're, you're kind of telling this person that, you know, once everything is organized, once there is some progress, you know, made, once you have progressed forward to on your own, getting your own apartment, you know, kind of um, work on that and let's revisit this. But I, I really do want to move forward with you. I see a lot of, I'm highly attracted to you. I have a lot of fun with you. I think this is a beginning of an awesome friendship, an awesome relationship. I'm really attracted to you. Um, so let me know when you establish your own place. Let me know when you establish your own life. And I would like to move forward with you. But I'm not going to rush this right now and ruin something that could be. So I'm not going to, I'm making the decision not to move forward with you right now is what I'm saying. You're not wanting to rush things because in a sense, you don't feel like there's a rush. You, you feel like you're in a good place and you're, you're having your cake and eating it too. You know, you're still being satisfied, still going out um, with hopes that this new person that you're genuinely uh, want to be with will work hard to be on their own and you know establish some boundaries from their parents or their authority figure for some of them it could be a brother so um let's see any, adv any advice for you for this um situation for the month of september Your advice uh, or advice for you, Gemini, is don't tolerate any BS. I feel like this, it's going to hurt this person's feelings and their father or brother, whoever this authoritative figure is, may reach out to you and say some nasty things or be kind of harsh with you and you're like, yeah, I made, you know, I made the right decision. Um, Basically, you're going to be intolerant of any BS. And um, basically, I'm telling you, your advice is don't tolerate it. You got out of, you know, you trusted your instinct and you got out of dogmatism. Like you're just no more, um, oh, okay, I see that they exaggerated it a little bit. Like they're saying you made them feel like you guys were going to be together blah 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 broke my heart blah 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 like they're making the situation more severe when you're actually very open with them so my advice is just don't tolerate it and um, just just cut it off if you need to okay so a little different but um let me know if any of that resonates with you gemini um please give me a thumbs up and um Leave some comments below. I'll leave my link below as well if you want to get a private reading. But if I don't hear from you, um, I will see you next time. Peace and love. Bye.